<laughs> hey, hey, hey. Thanks, Bobby. I'm Tony Danza, and I'm in New York City, live. Tony's guests today are television icon, Regis Philbin. Stage and screen legend, Liza Minnelli. And Tony's family vacation to Italy. And here's your host, Tony Danza. Come on. Hey, miss. All right. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is. Well, here it is. September 13th, 2004, Monday. And welcome to our first show. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for tuning in at home. Oh. Oh, please, uh, give a warm welcome to our announcer and my new pal, Erica Vitrini. Ladies. <laughs> Hello, Erica. Hello, Hello Vitrini. Tony. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's yeah, you, show. you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited myself. <laughs> oh, boy, it's great. Now, for those of you who, who don't know who Vitrini is, uh, she was a cast member on a little show. You, you, might, uh, you might have seen it. Uh, well, we, we have a clip. Uh, let's take a look at the clip. Eric. Don't say it, Mr. Trump. You're fine. Yeah. Not again! Oh, that wasn't enough! No, that's all right, Petrini. That's all right, because you were fired by Trump. You were hired by Dancer. Not bad. <laughs> For those of you who watch the show, um, you might not know Vitrini as Vitrini. You would know her as Erica because they only use first names on the show. There was Bill and Kwame and Omarosa and Heidi and Katrina. Look at him. Oh, not that I watched. <laughs> but we're going to call her Vitrini because, um, yeah. you know, it ends in a vowel. We like that. Now, let me, let, oh, let me explain the garbage truck. Um, now, my father, my father was a garbage man for the city of New York. And uh, no sanitation engineer either, just a garbage man. And uh, when I was a kid growing up in Brooklyn, he actually worked on the street that I lived on and went to school on. And uh, I was always so proud of him because he used to drop me off at school with the truck. <laughs> I thought your father's got a $10,000 Cadillac. Big deal, we got a $100,000 truck. <laughs> but he's, um, unfortunately, he's not around anymore. But I, I think today he'd be uh, pretty proud of me. And, uh, and besides, uh, the great city of New York would be a very different place without the sanitation department. <laughs> a little hand for the sanitation department. Now, my mother, my mother's not around anymore either, unfortunately, but I, I know what she would say because she was the ambitious one in the family. You know, she was always telling my father, we should buy the house next door. We should buy the house next door. <laughs> well, the fact that the house next door wasn't for sale didn't matter to her. <laughs> it was just her way of saying you should aspire to great things, you know. So I know that, uh, you know, they're watching together somewhere, and I just hope they like the show. <laughs> thank you. You know, thank you. Oh. You know, doing a show, doing a show, I found out, is hard work. I mean, it's, it's lovely work, but it's hard. I mean, it really is, you know. And the hardest part, the hardest part is asking people to be a guest on your show. I mean, you know what I mean? You've got you to go asking people. You've got to ask your friends. Your friends, and, and by the way, most of your friends, you know, they want to see it first before they commit, you know. <laughs> and I don't blame them. And, and the hardest part is you actually have to ask, you have to ask your Hollywood friends. You know, those sort of showbiz friends we have? That's like you did a movie with them or a, or a TV show eight years ago. Haven't spoken to them since. Next time they hear your voice, you're saying, could you do my show, please, you know. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's tough. It really is. But, uh, but um, it's a favor, you know. And most of my friends have been great. They really have. But it's a favor. And I, I'd much rather do a favor than ask for one, you know. But anyway, all that's changed now. It's amazing. We got this new talent booker. Oh, he is incredible. <laughs> a talent coordinator. 
you know? Everybody says yes now. It's unbelievable. I think we got a shot of him in his office. Let, let's take a shot. Let's see what he's doing. See what he's doing. Hey, how you doing, dude? I think you can't make it today. You gotta make it today. You gotta be here at 10 o'clock. Or you cancel the massage and you bring a cake for Mr. Danza. You understand? All right, say hello to your wife, huh? <laughs> Obviously, the great James Gandolfini from The Sopranos. That's no Hollywood friend, I want to tell you. Yeah. You know, it's funny, you know, between he came, he saw the offices. We got some pretty, pretty um, impressive offices right here on Columbus Avenue. And uh, when uh, James came over, he, he looked around and he looked at me and he went, this all for you? <laughs> So, Vitrini, speaking of working hard, you were working hard yesterday, right? I was. On a Sunday, out there I working for the show. Where were you? I was the Philadelphia Zoo for Kids Fest with uh, WPVI's ABC Local Philly Affiliate. Uh -huh. We were talking about you. I was signing autographs. Oh, how nice. Yeah. Well, now, um, um, you know, first of all, yesterday, by the way, for the football fans out there, the Giants in New York got beat by the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles, I know. They and I'm sorry for the Giants because, you know, I root for the home team, but I'm glad they're dancing in Philadelphia. Woo. How's that? It was a great play that McNabb made. Yeah, it looked like he was going to go out of bounds, and he threw the, threw the pass to T.O., uh, to to. and boom, they scored. It was unbelievable. Anyway, hey, let me tell you, it is so great to be back in New York. I mean, to be home in New York. I'm home. I'm home. And you know what else is great? It's great to be live in New York. I'm live. This is happening right now. I mean, look, I can show you today's post. <laughs> right, today's post. I could show you an article about oh, me yeah. in today's post. <laughs> huh? I, I love when they do that song and dance thing. I like that. Yeah. Um, oh, because we're live, just like you, I have no idea what Oprah's big secret is. <laughs> and you know what else we can do? Because we're live, we're being broadcast right now in Times Square on the Jumbotron. Right? <laughs> Look at that. There right there. Look, hey lady, hey lady. <laughs> Look at that, that's great. Oh, that, oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's so great. All right, now, so now, now, you know, this is a new show. We're breaking it in, and, and, and this part of the show, I think, will be one of my favorite parts of the show because it's in this, this show, this part of the show, right? This is when, this is when I get to talk to a, a home viewer and I give them a chance to win up to $5,000 from our friends That's at Disney's right. Visa. Now, the way we do this is, we ask them a question about a subject they told us they were an expert in. Okay, it's a little game we like to call Extravaganza. <laughs> okay. On the phone. On the phone today, we have Jean Denisio from Massapequa, New York, Massapequa Park, New York, who watches us on WABC Channel 7. How are you, Jean? Fine. How's it going? Okay. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Jean. I appreciate it. What, what do you do in Massapequa Park? I'm a retired housewife. Oh, well, do you ever retire from being a housewife? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a retired real estate broker. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, Jean, what is it that you claim to be an expert in? Uh, the TV show Friends. Oh, really? Really? What, why uh, did you just like that show a lot? Did I you liked it, watched it a lot, and congratulations. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you. lots of luck. Thank you. You know, I, was, uh, I watched Joey's show the other day, the spinoff. I really thought it was good. He's a good guy, Joey. Yes, he's a good Matt guy. Matt LeBlanc, he's a really good guy. I wish him a lot of luck, too. Well, we're going to put you to the test, Gene. I'm going to ask you one question about Friends, and you'll okay. have a chance to win anywhere from 1000 to the grand prize Five thousand dollars. Okay, tell. Let's go, Vitrini. I help her decide. We're okay. gonna reach in this bucket and pick a number from one to five. Two. One, oh, two. Go. Good luck, Jean. Good luck, Jean. Five thousand. Good luck, Jean. Come on, come on. Get in that five thousand. Oh. Get in it. You know, if oh. I wanted to rig that, I could. <laughs> no. Congratulations, Gene. You're going to be playing for $5,000 on a Disney Visa gift card. Okay, you ready? You get 15 seconds on the clock and only one guess. The clock starts when I'm finished reading the question. Are you ready? Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> you, you, you were excited before, now you're really yeah. excited. Put 15 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Here we go. Joey portrayed a character on a soap opera that was a world-renowned neurosurgeon. In fact, when he fell down an elevator shaft, it was said the only doctor that could have saved him was himself. <laughs> what was the name of Joey's character on Days of Our Lives? Dr. Dredge Memorial. Hey! So our first winner. Jean, congratulations. Oh, You're our first you. winner, thank and it's you. great to have... Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Tony. Gene, thanks very much for playing. All right, now listen, folks, if you know a lot about a certain subject, and I don't care how obscure it is, you want the chance to win up to $5,000, go to our website, let us know what it is. Listen, I love giving away other people's money. And so, look, we got a great show for you today, ladies and gentlemen. My dear friend, Liza Minnelli is here. This summer, I, um, I took my family to Italy. And I've got some unbelievable home movies to show you. And when we come back, the godfather of daytime television, Regis Philbin, will be here. Yeah. So stick around. Next, the one and only Regis Philbin. Later, start spreading the news. Liza Minnelli is live in our studio. Extravaganza is brought to you by Disney's Visa, the only card that turns everyday spending into magical Disney rewards. You know, when I was thinking of who I might have as my first guest on my very first show, live here in New York, I thought, oh, come on, it's got to be only one guy, right? I'm so thrilled he said yes, and I think he is literally just walking over from his own show. Let's see, can we go, go, go here and... Take a look. Here, look at that. Here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. Oh, it reads. Oh, and there. Please welcome Mr. Regis Feldman. <laughs> okay, good. Now go this way. Oh my gosh, how exciting! It is exciting. Oh boy, what? Tony Danza's first show. What do you think? How do you like it? What do you I, think about the I, set? I and... think it looks good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, boy, you got a lot of wood here. Yeah, we got. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Tony Danza's lumber yard. Yeah, well, they, a lot of wood went into it. <laughs> that. So, so, so. By the way, I, 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 I'm so excited about this. You broke the record. For the Guinness Book of World Records, yeah. for most hours on TV, beat yeah. out Hugh Downs, over 15,000 hours. Yeah, 15,000. Well, you know, I, I had lost track. I wasn't even thinking about it. And Gelman, my producer, said, why don't we add up all your hours? And so, boy, they really got into the years and the months and the days and the shows. And when you, you know, when you hang around long enough, I guess you accumulate that many hours. This well, is your first hour of My talk. first hour. <laughs> Oh, I know. Good luck! <laughs> well, you know, since this is my first, we went back and sort of looked for some firsts for you, and we found one of your first ever hosting jobs. Really? In a little show in San, San Diego, Yeah, San right? Diego, California. Okay, I think sure. we have this clip. Shall we take a look? Yeah, I'm going to try Easy Bake Brownie Cookie and Candy Set. <laughs> You know, it, it, uh... No, Reach, you gotta put it in the mixing bowl. No. The mixing bowl. What are you talking about? You're driving me crazy. That's this... a mixing bowl. And well, what is this for? That's a baking pan. <laughs> Everything went wrong. How about it? You know, that was, um, that was a long time ago. That was over 40 years ago. And, you know, television... You haven't changed a bit. Really. <laughs> but television has, you know. Yes. And so uh, that's how it all started down there in San Diego. Don Batista was my, uh, my director, and I kind of produced the show. So, but live TV, that's what's scary about this, because things can go wrong. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, that's when you've got to make the most of it, and, and that will give you the opportunities to make the most of it more than any scripted show will ever give you. You know? Right, right. Sure. So, uh, you ever miss a show because it was live? I mean, I'm, I'm worried about what happens if you get, you know, something happens, you don't get here, and 
Well, what did he know, do? Well, I lived on the east side when I came to New York, and so I would have to get across to, the, you know, just this street out here is a killer to get right, up. Right, it is. And so... Um, Especially when you get a garbage truck out there. Right yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, one day there was a snowstorm, and uh, my car didn't come. There was no cab. I, so I walked through the park. And I was running out of time, but we had a new girl. It was Ann Abernathy's first oh, yeah. day on the show. I remember. Show. I know Ann, Yeah, sure. about 19 years ago. And, uh, uh, boy, I was going to be late, and I was really worried. And then I saw a cab parked there in the rain, uh, in the snow, rather. And behind the tree, I saw the back of a man. It was a cab driver. He was... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he was... Um... He was taking a moment for himself. <laughs> So I said, you've got to be very respectful to these guys. I said, Mr. Cab Driver, will your cab be ready? Yeah. I get on the cab, and this guy's taking forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, the longest I've ever seen in my life. A cab driver in New York taking his time? Yeah. <laughs> and finally, he got on the car, and I got back just in time. But that's how close I came close, to missing yeah. She was very worried about it. So, so you're, the, you're, the, you're the godfather. You're the capo di tutti capi of... Of daytime TV. Was that an Italian slur? That's an what Italian. was that? That means the boss of all bosses. Yeah. So, advice. Give me something. Is, Give me is the advice. I can latch on to. Well, I want to tell you something, and I'm being kind of serious with you right now, because it's very important that you know this. These people have hired you to front this show. It, this show has got to be you, a reflection of you, your tastes, your likes, the things you want to do. So you must tell your staff, you know, that this is what you like, this is what you don't like, so that they know. I've met all these people. They've been on other shows that have gone off. But anyway. <laughs> you've got to tell them right away about you and what your likes are, what you dislike, and make it the Tony Dancer show. Well, thank That's you. it. Baby. That's it. Okay. And then well. it'll be a big hit. Oh, I wish you the best. Good luck to you. Oh, God. And listen. Uh, well, I brought a little something for you. You bought me a gift? Yeah, I brought you a gift. This is your you... opening show. Oh, no. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You got... It's a, it's a big gift there, Rachel. Right? It's, it's heavy, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Help, I'll let me help it. you. No, this is your show. Let me carry it over. <laughs> All right. Wow. Little gift for Tony's opening show. Something he needs and wants and oh, should I have with him wait. at all times. Oh, I can't wait. Go ahead, I just baby. can't wait. It's, it's, uh, it's a CD. It's, uh, it's my new CD. My new CD. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, oh, this, is the one, this is the one you just did with, uh, with our friend Steve Tyrell. Is the producer, yes, he right? produced it for it's me. It's called Steve When You're Smiling. We just yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now, isn't it funny that you've been on my show a number of times, I and haven't. one of the last times you came on, you had your CD. That's right. It's really a thrill, folks, if, if you're not a... You know, if you're just starting out singing and late in your career, to actually be invited to make a CD. You go in the recording studio at it's a time. Right. And yeah. by the way, look at this picture. Can you see this picture? Can we get in on this? Ah, look at that. Yeah. Regis. That's great, Regis. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. That's a little gag. But now that we're, now that we're both singers, you know, uh, oh. uh, we're kind of rivals, aren't we? Well, you know, I, I, I didn't bit. think of it that way, but well, I, guess, I, I, guess, I, I, guess, guess, I guess you could say that. Yes. I guess you are. Now that we're talk show hosts, we're... More than rifles. No, no, no. You're my, you're my lead in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep me healthy. I got to keep you in good shape. No, but I tell you what. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we see who appeals to somebody in the audience? You know. You why like, don't we do a song together? Like a sing off? I got a song right here. It has to be you. You mean like a sing off? A little sing off. All yeah. right. What do you want to do? You want to grab somebody? Uh, you, you, you get, you get somebody. I'll get a stool. Go ahead. She's waving her hand to me. Hello. How are you? So nice to see you. All right. Come on up here. Hi, Erica. How are you, darling? Nice to see you. Big change from Trump. Huh? A big change. Better hair. Better hair. Yeah. <laughs> what is your name? Donna. Hi, Donna. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. And where are you from? Uh, Long Island. East Long Island. Where, yeah. in, where, where, in, where in Long Island, Donna? Uh, Brookhaven. Oh, you know, because I, I Shirley, live... Shirley, Long Island. Shirley. I know yeah. Shirley because I lived in Patrick for a while. And in fact, I graduated from Malvern High School because so I went out to Long Island when I was 15. I lived in Mineola for a while. There you go, right yeah. there by the DMV. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Hey, uh, Donnie, you got a minute? It's me, Regis. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and I are going to sing a song to you, and then you've got to make a decision as to, you know, who you'd rather... I think she's made the decision already. So let's, let's try it. This is a okay. great old song that I know Tony knows and has sung many, many times. Kenny Asher at the piano. Thanks, Kenny. It had to be you. 
It had to be you I wandered around Finally found Somebody who Could make me be true Don't believe it. Could make me be blue Stop looking at him Or even be glad He's Italian Just to be sad Thinking of you Some others I've seen Might never be mean They might never be cross Or try to be boss What they wouldn't do For nobody else Gave us a thrill With all your faults We, we love you still It had to be you so wonderful you It had to be you I want to wish uh, Donna's parents a happy 52nd yes, anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary. Hey, Rick, really, thank you Tony, so thank much. thank you very much. It's your show. You can help. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, buddy. Come on, I love you, Rick. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Mom. Tell them my knees. Regis Philbin, ladies and gentlemen. Regis' CD, When You're Smiling, comes out September 28th, and we'll be right back. Next, meet the Danzas as Tony takes you along on his summer vacation to Italy. Later, Oscar, Grammy, Tony, and Emmy winner, Liza Minnelli. Look at that shot of New York, Diane. You know, this summer, I took my wife, my two daughters, my son, and his wife, my whole gang, on a family vacation to Italy. We saw ancient Rome, the Amalfi Coast, and we saw the place where my mother was born, and a whole lot of cousins. A little town in Sicily called Campobella di Mazzara. I started videotaping our, our, our trip the morning we left. Actually, the cameraman is my son. You'll, you'll hear him laughing in the background. And although my family may not feel the same way, I'm so excited to share this with you. Let's go. <laughs> Here we are, getting ready to go. All right, we're going. Bye, 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 George. Come on, let's go! Say goodbye, Fabio. Bye-bye! <laughs> ah, the old country. What could be better than a family vacation in Italy? Oh, oh. <laughs> the itinerary was packed. So we wasted no time and kicked off our vacation at a dizzying pace. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> we saw the beautiful island of Capri and even sailed where the ancient Romans swam. Hey! The rest of the Amalfi Coast would have been equally as breathtaking if I'd left the lens cover off. Beautiful. Wow. Eh? In the morning, I'm looking to get up again. There we go. Next, we headed to Sicily to visit my relatives. So here I am in Campobella. This is, uh, this is where my family comes from. Uh, I have my... Uh, it's perfect time. <laughs> so this is the uh, railroad station in Campobella di Mazzara, where my family, my mother and her family, her father and her mother and her brothers and her sisters, got on the train to go to the boat to go to America. <laughs> and I come right from this place. <laughs> That's where it all started. <laughs> It was so great to see the family. This is how they do it in Sicily. This is, this is my Aunt Rose. This woman right here. This is my mother's mother's sister's dog. It's hard not to step on a cousin. I swear, it's wild. Somehow, I'm related to everybody here. It's so great. We ate. This is some barbecue. Oh, yeah. oh. Sang. One of our old favorite songs from way back when. And we drank. And ah. drank. And drank a whole lot of vino. I had a little problem with my Italian, but it really was never an issue. I think she just asked me for Regis's autograph. 
I have one question. How's my hair? <laughs> Nobody understood that. I'd be that. so funny if they understood me. <laughs> the next day, we said a sad goodbye to our relatives, and we headed for Rome. Here's Rome. Ahem. <clears throat> Rome. When in Rome. Here we are at the Spanish steps, right? So I'm standing here, and a woman walks up to me. It's my cousin! <laughs> my cousin from America! <laughs> so here we are in Rome, of course, and you know, one of the things that my son and I really love about Rome is you see some really nice knockers. I was at the Vatican today, so I picked up a little souvenir. In the end, our trip to Italy was amazing, and my family loved being part of my little documentary. I want to just take one shot of the family before we leave Rome. Okay, maybe they needed just a little convincing. Don't worry, I won't use it in the show. <laughs> there we are. As my traveling companion. Did you like it, Mark? Oh, it was great. Okay, was yeah. Great. Listen, it's so great to see where your family comes from. I actually saw a woman who had my mother's face. I hope one day everybody gets a chance to do that. Now, look, when we come back, Liza Minnelli's here. <laughs> Next, the legendary Liza Minnelli here in our studio. Tomorrow, the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson.